Hello everyone, so this bike is interesting. It's a Gas Gas, which is a motorcycle brand that have created e-bikes as well. It's called the Light Trail 2. It's an interesting bike and it's actually quite a surprising bike. It's got an interesting look and style to it. It's got 150 mils of travel on the front, 150 mils of travel on the back. We've got 29er on the front, 29er on the back. It's not an aggressive e-mountain bike, it's more of a trail bike, so it fits in there with the lightweight category, because this weighs around 40 pounds or 20 kilos. It's got a Yamaha motor on it, but not the traditional Yamaha motor, it's got the air drive version, which means lightweight power, so it's only got 50 Newton meters. This means that kind of bike also doesn't need a big battery, and this has a 500 watt hour battery. So with this lightweight uh, tune on the motor, a slightly lightweight battery, battery we have a lighter weight bicycle package when i first got on it the level of power and support that you have at 50 newton meters is actually pretty acceptable let's have a look at the parts on this bike the rock shock revelation fork on the front 150 mils of travel it's got a 34 mil stanchion basically we're talking a lighter weight fork not designed for being super rigid, pushing us in the direction of where this bike will be ridden. It's, on the rear, we've got a fairly simple RockShox uh, Deluxe shock. Do not have a compression control. So a nice, simple, again, designed for an active ride. It's tiff because that's the type of ride you should be doing with this bike. Shimano SLX drivetrain, Shimano SLX shifter. It's there, very reliable, no noise. We've got Newman wheels, which are a fairly reasonable choice. I think that they roll really well, very smooth to use especially because they've been mounted with the Continental Mountain King tire uh, this is more of a trail tire it runs fast low rolling resistance a rounder profile the frame is carbon and that's important actually because when you look at the overall price of this bike a carbon frame in this price range is quite unusual this bike comes in at 6,999 which for a carbon framed electric mountain bike with a quality Yamaha motor, which has 50 Newton meters and 250 watts of power with a 500 watt hour battery, that's pretty good. I've noticed something very interesting about this bike, and that is the brake choice. This has Formula Cura 4 brakes on it. Now, Formula Cura 4 brakes, in my opinion, are some of the nicest brakes on the market. They have a feeling and a consistency under braking that you cannot find on many other brands of brake. But with e-bikes where you have extra weight, it's important to have better quality brakes. And these brakes are absolutely fantastic. The battery can be taken out of the frame and either charged in the garage or in the house. Gas gas hydraulic seat post on it, so you can always find that optimal ride position on the descents or on the climbs. This bike is actually quite quiet. We've got on the left here, the Yamaha remote. You turn the bike on in this position here on the display. It's hidden behind the bar, so it's out of the way of any risk of damaging it from any trail side debris. The bar setup is quite nice. It's got a nice clean bar. I don't like big displays and big electronics all over everywhere, so I like it like this. This is more about cycling than it is about electrics and electronics. As you can see, the motor is hidden quite nicely in the frame here. It's got quite a clean look to it. I like that. All the cables are internally routed, but not through the headset. What's it like to ride the Gas Gas g Light Trail? It surprised me at first. I was expect I didn't really know anything about it, and I thought, okay, let's go ride it. The motor's more responsive to the rider's tune compared to, say, other motors. So you really have to, uh, you decide how much power the motor's giving you uh, by the amount that you put into it. It's not a bike that you just sit back and the motor does all the work. You actually have to contribute to the ride feel. Range point of view, although you've only got a 500 watt hour battery, I found myself doing quite long rides out there for half an hour, an hour even sometimes, and I hadn't used any battery level according to the display. Yamaha motors are super efficient with their energy consumption. They're probably one of the most efficient motors on the market. Okay, so geometry wise, yeah, I found myself very comfortable on board, more upright than a normal bike. The bike is quite reactive, so the suspension's always working. You don't really lock it out, you just ride and it responds to the terrain underneath you. I found this ideal for those rolling trails where you're just riding along and enjoying and exploring where you're going. It's not a bike for super extreme descents. I have taken it on some 
kinder sense. It's not a bike which is forgiving. So if you are taking it in some extreme situations, unless you're good, the bike will not forgive you if you make a mistake. Now the tires are not super aggressive. They're quite lightweight, but that keeps the weight down of overall of the bike. Yeah, when you put pedal energy in, you get immediately a response out. This bike is actually quite responsive, but you do need to put in more energy than you would with a traditional full power mountain bike. It is more about the riding fitness experience with this bike, but the grip is good, the balance is good, the front stays attached to the ground, the rear grips on loose stuff, so it's a good climber but i wouldn't say it's going to be powering you up you have to put your energy and effort in to do that it is a trail bike where this bike excels is basically in the up and down trails the rolling trails the exploratory routes pedal you hear no noise and it's really a joy to ride in that sense on the descents it's a good bike, it's capable, it works well. You have to ride it a little slower than you would say an Enduro bike. This bike benefits from on those descents is the lightweight overall package, because at 40 pounds, there's not a lot of weight to move around. So getting down that trail is actually very easy. So what about the range of this bike? Well, it's difficult to quantify range on e-mountain bikes, because a lot of it depends on the weight of the rider and also the temperature where you're riding, how high you're riding. So you're going to ride from zero to uh, 3,000 feet. What are you going to do with the bike? But I set, would say that the range range on this is probably up there in the two to three hours riding without flattening the battery, maybe a bit more, maybe 3,000 feet of climbing. It's an excellent value for money bike. This bike with this package of uh, components plus a carbon frame and this motor at that price, it's basically there as one of the top competitive lightweight e-mountain bikes price per dollar let's say if you're into fitness and you're into riding and you just want to go and explore and you're not into extreme trails this is definitely a bike to worth considering especially at this price range i don't think it's a bike if you go for a big ride with everyone's on full powered e-mountain bikes i would say unless you're fit i wouldn't have buy this but if you're somebody who rides on your own and you like to just you know go ride and forget and just chill this is definitely a cool bike to ride. Overall, I would say this is a very interesting bike. There's quite a few uh, bikes from motorcycle companies coming now, and this is one of the good ones that has surprised me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on another video.